Hello, my name is Emily Crosby, lead designer of Marion's Journey, a video game designed in close partnership with Glasgow Caledonian University and the Gathering the Voices project. It was developed by a group of former uh, graduates of Caledonian University, including myself, Jodie Louise Jennings, our artist, and Robert McDougall, who handled programming. The game follows the true testimony of Marion Camras, whose own testimony actually acts as the narration behind the game's main element, which is the map screen. I was born in Krakow, in Poland, on the 14th of January 1932. We felt it important to use Marin's testimony as a narration as it helped to ground the game in reality and allow players to hear the testimony for themselves. Throughout the map screen we included questions that the player would face which were based upon the various decisions that Marin would have faced in her journey. The player can select N from one of three choices and an incorrect choice would give information on why the choice was incorrect or potentially why Marion's family did not choose that decision. A correct choice, however, will continue Marion's story, allowing the player to play on through it. We use a small caricature of Marion moving around a map to help players understand where she was going and highlight the journey she took. We also zoom out at certain times to help give a sense of scale and show the vast distances that Marion had to travel during her journey. The map screen and Marion's testimony are not the only elements to the game however. There are also three mini-games spread out amongst the story, based upon various parts of her life. These were designed to entice younger players to play the game and provide, almost in some respects, a reason to play through it, a sort of reward for learning about her story. The first mini-game is set during Marion's escape in Poland and has the player controlling Marion running through the streets of a Polish town. In order to complete the game they must collect supplies and materials for to help Marion survive the coming journey. Picking up useful resources such as food, firewood, clothing and blankets will improve Marion's chances of surviving her journey and fill up a blue bar. However, picking up rotten food or running through fires will harm Marion, filling up a red bar. If Marion fills up the red bar, the game is lost. If Marion fills up the blue bar, the player wins and Marion continues on her journey. If the player fails, they are told that they have lost and are given the opportunity to retry the minigame. Marion is never discussed as having died should any of the minigames be failed because we felt this was disrespectful to her. The second minigame is based upon Marion's family rafting down the River Chulum in Siberia. The player moves on raft left and right attempting to avoid logs and rocks which flood the river making a uh, potentially damaging the raft. As the raft takes damage, it sinks lower and lower into the water and eventually completely sinks. When this happens, the player has failed and they will be asked if they to retry the game. The player succeeds by successfully avoiding uh, sinking for the entire 200 km length that Marion um, rode. This is depicted up at the top by a gradually filling blue bar. The third and final minigame is based upon Marion's time in the city of Bukhara. 
Here, she starts off in the orphanage, attempting to sneak outside. The player can stop Marion at any point and move her left and right. Here, we display the torches of the guards so the player gains a visual cue as to what they are potentially avoiding. If they are caught in the guards' light beams, the torches flash red and the player loses and must restart. Once Marion reaches outside, she must continue to avoid being caught by any of the adults outside. However, now it is slightly more difficult as there is no torches and light beams for the player to understand where the characters are looking and they must instead pay attention. In this part of the level, there are also three flowers which must be picked up in order to complete it. These represent Marion collecting a bouquet of flowers to give to her mother that she is planning to see. The player succeeds this game by successfully collecting all three flowers and delivering them to the nursery where Marion's mother now works, upon which they are granted uh, an image depicting Marion giving her mother the flowers. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this talk. We haven't revealed all the elements of the game, as we would like people to go off and play the game for themselves, to learn everything that there is to learn about Marion and her journey. Thank you.